Hey Becca, what's the most amazing thing that stood out for you during this week? Well, the most amazing thing that happened to me was when I closed my eyes and I saw everyone in the in the camp and everyone's family going up to heaven and the angels rejoicing and blowing horns. And then when I opened my eyes and closed them again, I saw the throne room and like a pathway to the throne that was gold and like a huge light there that was God. And then we we're all going down that path to like collect our crowns that we earned. Amen. Thank when you. we went to the amusement park and I went on like roller coasters, one was called Carolina Cobra Thunder Road and Afterburn. And it was so fun. And um, after that we came back, 6.30 we had to eat dinner and that was one of my favorite parts too. And the part when we had um, church at night and, and in the morning too. God took out my fear. God took out my fear of roller coasters because I was really scared of like roller coasters. But the first time I went to the park at camp, I really got like really scared, and my first roller coaster was like kind of really scary. And then I went on this other roller coaster, which had a gigantic drop, and it was not that fun. So then um, when we went back, when we went back to the camp. We uh, like I took a shower and then I went um, to my bed to pray and I and then the next day at when we went to the park I went to like this really big blue one and when I went there I was like really not that scared it was, for me it was like a kitty ride. That's a um before the day before we went to the park. Um, I prayed for God so I wouldn't be afraid to go on roller coasters that have loops on it. So then the day that we go to the roller coaster that has loops on it, um, I go and like right when I'm about to do the loop, I think I'm going to die. And then when I go on the loop, it feels like I'm just going straight. Then right after I get off the roller coaster, I feel so happy that... I didn't get afraid of the loop, so I used. So then I started going on lots of other rides. <laughs> um, hello, my name is Victor. Um, um, the most ex uh, amazing thing that happened at camp was um, God showed me a vision. But before I do that, um, on the last night, um. We, there, the God, God was really in the room because everybody was being moved by him. And the day before that, the pastor said that it was really easy to see visions from God. Um, and I didn't believe him because uh, I didn't think that God would show me any visions because I thought I was too young. So um, in the vision that he showed me on the last night, um, he told me that whenever, because um, he showed me a picture of a line of people that were tall and short, skinny and fat, and um, he and he told me, because I was in his line, because I was first in line, and he told me that whatever pastor or minister says must be true, because he dwells inside that person, and whatever he says is true. And he also told me through that vision, because everybody passed through the room, and whenever they passed through the door, they became normal size and normal weight, and he told me that everybody in his eyes were the same and they and they were perfect to him so um he told me that i shouldn't make fun of any of them because they're his creation and we shouldn't make fun of anything that he made or he does um yeah and that's the thing that he showed me most at this camp um the favorite part of camp was when we had um like the last day thursday we had like a really good time we started praying and then like we got into worship then we started praying. I started praying for like people that I didn't even know and my friends. And it was a really fun time. Like everywhere I looked, I would see the Lord and I would see him inside people and like taking out the bad stuff. So um, then this counselor came up to me and, and said if I can pray for him because he wanted to have what I was having right now. So I prayed for him to like take out every bad memories and take out any fear from him. And then, like, after, I went and prayed for other people, and I came back for him, and I told him something, 
And he was like really happy because I told him that um, there's always going to be friends in the world that um, are not Christian and that you're going to have to tell, tell them something someday. And he came, he, came, he was like really happy because um, he, he, that, that, was, he, that was what he was praying for the whole day. So he was really happy. Igual lá no campo onde que eu fui, foi muito legal, foi uma benção para minha vida. Igual quando nós fomos, igual na quarta ou quinta-feira, igual de manhã nós temos os meetings, e aí eu vi anjos, e igual eu vi o céu, e aí eu vi um, ruas de, pra, de ouro, e anjos em vestidos branco, e um, coroas amarelas de, de ouro. Igual quando nós estava lá no Carowinds, igual um parque, igual Six Flags, e aí igual, eu tava, nós pensamos, igual algumas crianças que nós estava pensando que nós ia morrer, e aí o Victor tava falando com nós, se nós morrer, nós vamos ir para o céu, então não tem problema se nós morrer. E também eu falei com minha amiga para orar, então foi legal também. Espero ver muitos de nós ano que vem lá. Ok, Jesus me mostrou que, assim, que ele estava vindo buscar todo mundo, e assim, que, que eu tava na fila pra entrar no céu e todo mundo que tava lá no camp tava na fila pra ir no céu. E, e assim, na hora que eu abri meus olhos, eu vi Jesus e um anjo de, do lado de cada pessoa. E eu acho assim que você não pode pensar que você é muito novo pra sentir a presença de Deus.